Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Ready Tech for you. In this video, we are going to learn how to manage cells, rows, columns, and sheets. So, friends, if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel Arun Ready Tech for you and don't forget to like my videos. Coming to Excel, Excel by default contains row height 15 and cell column width 8.43. So, let me check. I will select one of the cell and go to the format and click on row height. So you can see the row height by default it is 15. So let me close this and this time again I will go to the format and click on column width. And now you can see the column width is 8.43. So by default the column width is 8.43 and row height is 15. So let me move to the next sheet which is student data sheet. In this student data sheet, you can see there's a student marks table and now I want to increase the table row height. So I will just select the whole table. I will go to the format and select row height. You can see the row height is 15. So I want to change the row height from 15 to 20. So I will just remove the 15, enter 20 and click OK. Nice, right? So let me undo this and come to the previous position. Now this time I just want to increase the subject columns width. So I will just select only subject columns. I will go to the format and click column width. You can see by default it is 8.43. So I will remove the 8.43 and just enter 10 and click OK. Nice right. So let me undo this one also. And coming to the previous position, let us say now I want to delete the first row of the table which is serial number 1 and name is Vijay. So let me select the row and click delete button on my keyboard. Nice. As you can see the content of the cell has been deleted but the rows are still there. But actually I want to delete the row. So I will undo this by using Ctrl Z. And I will come back. Now this time I am going to right click on the row and choose delete option. Nice. Now you can see the entire row has been deleted and the other rows below are shifted to upwards. Nice right. You can also delete column as well. So select a column. Let us assume I want to delete GK column. So select G GK column that is E, right click and choose delete option. Nice. You can see when you delete a column, the entire columns move towards left side. Nice, right? You can also delete multiple rows and columns. So let me select multiple columns E and F that is computer and Hindi. Right click, delete. Nice, right? So let me undo this and come back to the previous position. Now this time I want to insert a column. So when I want to insert a column, for example, if I want to insert a column between GK and computer, so I have to choose a computer column, right click on a computer column and select insert. Nice, right? So when you want to insert a column, you have to choose a right side column and you have to right click and choose the insert. When you are deleting again, let me delete this column. So select delete, choose delete. Nice. So when you are inserting the whole entire column will move to the right side and when you are deleting the entire column will move to the left side. The same way when you are deleting the row, if you are deleting the entire column will move to the upside. And when you insert a column, the entire column will move to the downside. Nice, right? Now, my management want a print of student number, that is serial number, name of the candidate and total. For this, I doesn't need to remove all the columns. Excel provide a great, great tool that is hide. So by, with the help of hide, I can hide the columns and I can print whatever the data required. 
so let me hide the remaining columns other than serial number name and total so i will for that i will select d and drag till l right click and select hide nice you can see now i have student number name of the candidate and total now i can print easily you can easily identify a hidden files you can see there's a gap between c and m this width is called uh, this width will show that there is a hidden columns you can also easily recognize the hidden columns by missing sequence for example you can see there is a a b c and after c you can you cannot find d e f so remaining missing series are hidden when you want to unhide the hidden columns you have to select the before and after column for example if you want to unhide the column from d so you have to select c to m and uh, now right click and unhide nice right now you can see my columns are back i had and i have also printed the sheet nice right not only we can insert delete and hide the rows and columns we can also do with the sheets for example if i want to insert a sheet so i will right click on the sheet select insert or i can also just do with the clicking on plus symbol so i'll just click plus symbol see nice i got sheet 6 i can also insert a sheet by using a option called insert in the home tab so i will just select insert and uh, click insert sheet nice now you can see i got two sheets sheet 6 and sheet 7 now let me delete one of the sheet to delete one sheet again i have to right click and select delete option remember once you delete a sheet you cannot undo this so i am deleting this sheet nice i can also delete the sheet by selecting the sheet 6 and go to the delete sheet and uh, sorry go to the delete option and here you can find a delete sheet nice nice right not only inserting and delete you can also hide and unhide the sheets for example if i want to hide sheet 4 i will click on sheet 4 right click and select hide option nice now you can you cannot see my sheet 4 to get back my sheet 4 to unhide i doesn't need to right click on the sheet 4 because it is hidden i can right click on any of the sheet for example i have a student data i will right click and i will just select unhide option immediately it will ask of the uh, sheet number so i will select sheet 4 click ok nice now i got my sheet back nice right so students keep practicing thank you